by the power of the Spirit and the spiritual regeneration. Man not only comes to the measure of the first Adam, but he also reaches a greater state than he possessed. Man is deified. Saint Macarius the Great. And then there's a quote underneath it that is pretty pretty prevalent to the first one. And this is I don't know who this is from, but it is by the blessings of the Lord that we are given the choice to be better, but we must choose to change, begin anew. Doom to vice. I mean, that's a pretty poignant statement too. But the first one is the emphasis on <clears throat> that that fallen nature that we all encounter in this life, that we all encounter in day to day our I mean our day to day lives, that we all encounter month to month, year to year. I mean it's just it's a constant thing where obviously as Christians that we know that we are never turned away from God. We are we we know we're in a sense we're unworthy of God and his love, but we're never to the point where it is something that is just going to, going to <clears throat> going to be be a hard struggle for us. I mean things are things are a struggle and you know you got to you got to go through those struggles to obviously realize that there is a kingdom at the end of the road and there is a sense of purpose to your life but the power of the spirit and the regenerative nature of that spirit are <clears throat> god and his essence working through the trinity and his energies in something like the divine eucharist giving giving us those gifts and us in return <clears throat> deifying our flesh sanctifying ourselves because our soul our body are sanctified and they were they were both sanctified and made <clears throat> both fully man and fully god through his only given son so when <clears throat> when the eternal logos came to earth that gave us the this the glory and the power through the resurrection for our flesh is to be sanctified and deified so now that we have those blessings and we had the metaphysical evidence to back it up that it is something it just something that insists upon itself i mean it's just it's there and to be measured out by the first adam and to reach that greater state that is something that did happen through christ and realizing that we have a means to an end that we have that <clears throat> ability to reach a theosis that ability to become a part of god because god is a part of us and that's one of the things where this quote expounds on that on that dynamic relationship because of creation because of who we are because of who God is and what God gave us. So that way, in turn, we receive the Eucharistic gifts and then we become something more. <clears throat> then we become a part of, as well, of ourselves, of others. And more importantly, we are all in God's kingdom and then as for the other other quote it's more of a proclaim I guess it's my first anonymous anonymous quote 
kind of exciting. It is by the blessings of the Lord that we are given the choice to be better, but we must choose to change, begin anew, doom to vice. Begin anew. Begin anew. I mean, that is, that's huge. That's, that's correlating to how man is deified through the Eucharistic gifts, how the flesh is sanctified, and how God has, <clears throat> through his traditions, and through the traditions, of course, through the Orthodox Church, is how those traditions came into this kind of thinking. These kind of, the church fathers being able to, bright, to provide this wisdom to lead us to spiritual regeneration over and over again. Oh, another footnote. When somebody, when somebody tells you they're a born again Christian, this is a, this is where our difference of philosophy does happen within a Protestant church versus, versus the Orthodox, <clears throat> the Orthodox church. Um, this is this is where something something like this is important because of the fact that we are born again every time we pray. We are born again in the sense of not not the not the spiritual baptism or not a physical baptism. This is a spiritual cleansing and a spiritual baptism, if you will. And this is where these these Eucharistic gifts and the traditions and sacraments of the church are so important, important versus Protestant, just going off the sola scriptura and, and being, and being, and being obs kind of obsessed with a John the Baptist kind of scenario. Don't get me wrong. That's symbolic and important, still an important tradition in our, in the Orthodox church. However, there's more of an emphasis on the spiritual cleansing and looking inward and being and being a part of that dynamic relationship versus the Protestant ancillary characteristics of the church and the traditions that that they have had. So that's an important footnote, just in case. <clears throat>